I just made a matcha latte and there's, I have this big straw. I stared at myself in the mirror for 15 minutes thinking about how beautiful I am <laughs> right before this video. So that's, that's me, but. <laughs> Oh I mean, I just did a power balance in the bathroom. So oh, yes. Awesome. Hey, everyone. My name is Nate Rasa. I'm joined again with... Jay Choi. And... <laughs> Megan Lavona. Woo! Yes! And welcome to the studio! Oh, again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo. Rush of ideas and just imagination and chaos. You know, you make things, you break things in the span of seconds just with your thoughts. Kinesthetic style, but only within the mind. Take a whole idea and like deconstruct it, and then rebuild it in like a completely different way. Swimming in chaos. Welcome to I just can't even with myself right now. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so today we have a special guest, as we already said, it's Megan Lavoda, and what we're gonna be doing today is it is a questionnaire for Megan where it's a who is more likely to question. So we're going to be asking you questions and you're, you can answer um, with who you think is more likely to dot, dot, dot. Oh, but just between you two? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. I was already enjoying the polls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was kind of a teaser for what's happening here. Okay, oh, so just to start you off really easy, I'm going to ask you the first one which is, who do you think will be more successful? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Can I ask you follow-up questions and be pedantic and say, how do you define success? Nate. When you guys do that, I'm going to take another bit of my gum because it's the polar TI here. <laughs> Nate, you have TE. <laughs> you can contribute. Okay, actually... I could just... Okay, it's hard for me to say that as a yes or no, but I can just sort of comment on that. If that's okay, mm -hmm. you gotta answer either. Like, <laughs> okay, kidding, go ahead. <laughs> okay. I feel like JC. No matter what you do, you are going to be successful, like by worldly standards, at least. You might not feel successful. Like I feel like Nate is more likely to feel like you reached the goal and feel like a success, and like, oh, I tried to do this and then I went and I did it, sort of thing. Or JC, you might find your like you're more likely to find yourself like pursuing something that you think might make you feel successful, and then you'll feel like, well, this is bullshit or something. That was actually but, a really thoughtful answer. Actually, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was ready for her to just be like, "It's you or you," you know, just like ready. <laughs> no, what's funny is because I would totally do that. Like, I'm very much I wash dishes. I'm successful now. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 that's true. That's so true. I it is like, very much so. <laughs> world, just from like my the gut thing is is jc you're probably like more likely just from a on a surface level you're probably more likely to be successful but i feel like nate you define success differently perhaps she said, she said your standards are really low nate <laughs> yeah the translation yeah the translation you, really standards, <laughs> therefore you always standards. feel good about yourself yeah. i feel like sorry <laughs> but like nate you're probably more likely to be happy with what you Chase with the goals you set. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not taking any offense because it actually makes that is sense. so funny. That is so funny. Even if you do call Jason, it's like it's a shallow success, but like I call consider everything a success. So is it really? <laughs> Am I oh actually God, winning? That is so funny. I feel like, like she literally just said, "JC, you're a three. Nate, you're a seven. Let's move <laughs> on. Like, let's move on." <laughs> yeah. But also, I will say with that to JC that I'm not trying to be like, oh, you're not likely to be happy with what you do. I am also telling you, like, to go easy on yourself because you are successful. She's not easy on herself. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, shut up. <laughs> I love that she ends it with a, with a drink. <laughs> like, right. Well, just, Nate, you can go team. ahead. Nate, you can go ahead and ask the next one. Jump right in. Next question. Who do you think is smarter? Hmm. oh gosh you guys uh, it's gonna be so hard for me to ever answer just one person because you I just it. especially as the two it's like I see you guys I see your strengths in different ways um, uh, let's put it this way this is like technically the only two I think that is actually okay. burying you in your two <laughs> the rest are more fun 
Yeah, just yeah. Not, I just got to go with JC for that one. Thank you. <laughs> no, and then you'd be that, right, I'm going to put that in my bio. <laughs> Megan said JC is smarter than Nate. Woo! Win! <laughs> now I'm successful. He's like, now I'm done. Bye, yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys have a good interview. I'm going to tap out. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I'm your new host now. Bye, Nate. Um, so the next question is, who is more likely to rob a bank? Hmm. Probably Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, do you have a comment? Because <laughs> no, 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 yes, the answer is yes. It's true. Why not? <laughs> I'm more, yeah, I'm more likely to walk in and be like, so I see that little cash is open. Anybody? That's how you're going to watch it. Maybe that's <laughs> like, your definition of success. For JP, oh. for, for JC, be like, this would ruin my biology career if I got caught. <laughs> Yeah, and I consider everything a success. So I'm be like, oh my goodness, I just talked to a lady at the cashier. She gave me free money. <laughs> but yeah, it would be me. That's so funny. It would be me. I'm just not. I'm just Seven lazy. We'd be able to pull it off too more. If we work together, we would be able to pull off a more heavier project. I think. <laughs> Very oceans eight. Yeah. Oceans twelve type of five. Yeah. I see it happening. Okay. Uh, who do you think is more empathetic? Hmm. JC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I beat the feeler! Woo! Well, is it really that much of a, of a victory, though? I'm successful. <laughs> I'm successful. Yeah. This is success. success. She's more successful than you. She's smarter and she's nicer. So she's and nicer. You're, yeah. and you're gonna I'm so bank. glad, Megan, you know me this well, though. Like, I'm really happy. <laughs> okay. Like, when Nate texts me, I'm usually like, Oh my. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. <laughs> Casey, I actually feel like you are like, not even in a this or that sort of way. I feel like you're very empathetic. That girl tries really hard. Like, yeah. I don't think I've seen a thinker try this hard. Like your <laughs> all I want is approval from my INFP mother. <laughs> and you That's all I want. <laughs> You could technically argue that you aren't as intrinsically motivated to be nice or whatever, and that it's because you're a three and you don't want to look bad, but the end result is that you are very empathetic, so. Well, that whole three thing, it's, it's true. It's all true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to look bad. I want people to think I'm nice, even if I'm not. Yeah. So. But with yeah. things like that, too, and it's, also partially because I'm a three or I'm a two wing three but with things like that it's like does it is it really my place to make an assessment on whether or not you mean it or how real it is because you're a three I mean you did it it's not really my place to judge right Nate and I had a conversation about this we I did. think in one of our recent videos we were just like would be like you know you apologize and someone's like I don't think you mean that and it's like I hate that. What do you and want me to do? <laughs> I don't know if that's like an F-E over F-I thing either. either or I don't know what you think, Nate. But for me, it's like, I don't care. Like, it's an, I'm not the judge of whether or not you mean it. It's funny because I've been on the other end saying that. I don't think your apology is, is genuine. <laughs> like, I've done it. <laughs> but well, in, the, in my defense, the context was that the person giving the apology said it in a very sarcastic way. Oh. So that's how well, I responded to that. Yes, they were. Yeah. But and I and then I did give them like a TE of I wanted a more this style, mm -hmm. and that's what they couldn't. Mm -hmm. So that's where the argument came in. But usually I would say I'm trying to accept apologies that aren't normally. Well, I think I'm that for me, work. like it doesn't matter to me, and I wouldn't say like I don't think you mean it or anything because as polar FI, I can't tell if they mean it or not. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just here like, doing... should I trust them or not? Like, <laughs> yeah, for me, it's like. It's more about what would it take for me to trust them? And it's like more of like a personal reaction. Like, do I accept the apology or not? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, this one doesn't make sense. But who is more likely to have twins? Hmm. <sighs> I feel like Nate. <laughs> I, don't yeah, know. I, would say I so. feel like you would have I feel like you would have like an evil twin that like you don't speak of. <laughs> I wish, I wish I was the evil twin. <laughs> well, you I are the evil twin. Be, right? you, 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 like, killed, you killed your twin in the womb. There we go. You know, I yeah. absorbed them. <laughs> or if if you were to reframe it as which one of you is most likely to have had a twin this whole time and we didn't know because you were doing like a Mary Kate Nashley like swap situation. <laughs> 
you know i used to love movies like that as a kid where like the theme was that they were twins and then it would be like oh i like this boy but i'm nervous to talk to him wait we should switch spots and like i don't know and that was the whole plot Even parent trap twins. vibes i yeah. used to idolize yeah. that oh my god like, yeah yeah here for that actually but genetically speaking i do have twins in my line like my aunts immediately twins i think i, th- I had I, cousins I, okay from sorry the i totally thought you're saying something else i was like what no. <laughs> Luchi, I, I was like what no 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 <laughs> I, had, like, I have two aunts who are twins but they were fraternal so they're not identical yeah so they weren't um but i also have twins on another family line like that keeps going so apparently it's common for us so i don't so you like, could i could produce twins and my dad's a twin Ooh. For whatever reason, though, the twins came out as ENFJ and ESTJ, so they're so opposite. <laughs> I love that. that <laughs> I really awesome. wish, too, if I had a twin, I wanted to be an opposite. You wanted to be an ISTP. So cool. And yeah. do you want to know what's wait, funny? What did, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Is that my dad has this memory as a kid, though, of my uncle, who's an ESTJ, he, whenever it was like nap time, he would always get up out of bed and run around because he was just a little daredevil. No one could tell him what to do. And so whenever they would nap, sometimes my grandma would like hold him while they were napping because she was afraid that he would um, run away. My dad's first memory, poor little ENFJ, is interpreting that as, oh, so she loves him more than me. That's so <laughs> sad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he is, he's like so like, he, the whole family pretty much is TE user. He's like the lone, like FE user. Oh, that poor baby. <laughs> oh, he loves That's it. so funny. funny. <laughs> also, also three wing two. So. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> What's crazy is that like, for those situations like that, I'm so happy someone else is getting the attention. Like you take it. I want to <laughs> just be alone doing my own thing. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, next question. <laughs> to transition to the next one, who is most likely to be an ISTP? Um, okay, um, JC. I think I'm and sleeping I'm, this. <laughs> I'm thinking of... You're okay. taking... <laughs> I'm thinking of, uh, Ashley uh, from Best Dress, mm-hmm. the ISTP YouTuber, like, some things she says, I can kind of see. It's just a TP vibe. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, really, you're not like an ISTP at all, Nate. So it, that's no. an obvious answer. As my conflictor, really, it's like not happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that someone saying it. One. I can get along with them, though. Like, for strangely <laughs> so. With the SE, I don't mind it. Um, but I, yeah, I'm way too extroverted. Like, the minute I start talking, they're like, shut down. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. It's not happening. <laughs> Who is more likely to be a four? Oh no. It's it's Nate, it's you. <laughs> I know that you're gonna I know I knew you're gonna hate that answer. I was banking that Megan, you were gonna say it for yourself. Okay, oh, honestly. Well, wait, am I allowed to choose me? <laughs> well, well, we were thinking if you thought outside the box, maybe you'd choose yourself at some point. Well, yeah, it would definitely be me. But I didn't think outside the box. I was listening to instructions. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> this is, I, I would say, no, I agree with that. Because my seven can rationalize it. Because I have definitely said and made complaints about that seemed very four-ish. Where it's like, oh, I'm better than this. Blah, blah, blah. Why like, can't I be seen for that? Or whatever. Like, I've done. I know that four, like... I know that four and FI isn't necessarily connected, but in my mind, just anyone with FI, I feel like it's more likely. I know that's not accurate, but. Well, it's going know. in the most likely. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It's definitely, the answer is definitely me though. <laughs> if, if I, if I was in the. In the <laughs> yeah. Like I've been integrating to four and it's actually really annoying to my INFJ9 partner. She does not like it. what we talked about earlier, right? With the up and down. Yes. Yes. Oh God. yes. <laughs> yeah. That's All right, funny. this one. I got one. Who is most likely to be a drama queen? Me. Am I allowed to choose me? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, now that we extended the rules. <laughs> um, no, it's probably, probably you, Nate. Yeah. I mean, you. I feel like you would be a drama queen behind closed doors, but you wouldn't want to make a scene about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like, would... I'm, I'm very the voyeur. I want to... There was a wise drag queen who said that he's, um, he's more of a... 
a private instigator where he like goes to people's houses and like pokes at them and goes at the dinner you're gonna let him talk to you like that and then like walk away <laughs> oh my goodness that's <laughs> just you. causing issues causing problems in the crowd yeah <laughs> oh yes who is kinder Mm. she's thinking too my baby ti needs to look up the definition of kinder just to make sure i'm being correct she's thinking too long (laughs) you make it sound like a game show (laughs) like she's gonna win a prize at the end five seconds left on the clock (laughs) i mean (laughs) jc I mean, it's like, I feel like you're, like, way more friendly. She is. <laughs> That's Nate. The truth. Like, but, Nate, you're, like, so understanding and compassionate. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> compassionate. It's true. It, he is. But yeah. for some reason, initially, my reaction is, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, okay. yeah. It's like, I feel like, JC, you have, like, want to give people a base level of respect and kindness just as a rule where Nate you don't do that I feel like mine's faker <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna straight up admit it like mine is faker like I yeah. I have a, a secretary face just like whenever I'm dealing with the general public I'm very oh hi how are you life's great I like wanna... I don't mind the small talk but then the minute they leave I'm very like yeah I don't like this person and I I, I hate to again ha- ha- blame this on fi and te but i i mean i feel like what i get from you jc is that you want to be kind as a as a rule like as just like a baseline but that doesn't really but then obviously you're going to be kinder and friendlier to people that you have that you like more that you have more bonds with and like i just relate to that more i feel Mm -hmm. like for fe it's like in this situation a good person would respond like this or something do you relate to that Jason yeah I do and that's interesting too because like when Nate and I are like talking crap about everyone it's like usually like he I don't know I think we we do it a little bit differently like we agree on everything pretty much but we come about it really differently like because for me sometimes if something happens I'm like so why do you think like, like today I texted him too I was like why do you think that I have this like repetitive cycle of relationships going a certain way like friendships and then you know I like actually ask that question he ignores my question and moves on to different subject but (laughs) he doesn't ask anything like that but also it might just be that he does it all internally and I need the external validation for that and I need a bouncing board which Nate doesn't do because he's like (laughs) that's true actually yeah do you feel it's a quick conclusion for me for people I'm very like Mm. yeah this one's useless out throw it in the trash yes. like, <laughs> so okay yeah. jc do you feel like you give people the benefit of the doubt like too much or i quite a bit i really do think i do but i think it's attributed to not me being a nice person it's attributed to me being polar fi like i'm really yeah. bad at knowing other people's intentions and i know polar fi could make you either overly trusting or overly suspicious um yeah i don't know i i i don't think that i'm overly suspicious but I do think that I can be overly trusting, but not in like a, oh, everyone's great way, but like a, like a, someone can wrong me and then like they apologize and I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, yeah. And I will say that Nate, you might be harsher on certain things, but it's also like all based in like a very valid judgment that you're making that you're more confident in than maybe JC would be. Yeah. I feel like I, I speak harsher than I actually act. Is another one because I don't actually go yes. around, right? I don't go around and be like, "Yo, give me my money," and just start like swearing at these people. Give like, me your all... lunch money. Yeah, yeah like, you all the bank. <laughs> and even though it's definitely not something I do, um, but yeah. when it comes to complaining, like with friends or something, and they like to vent to me, it's, I'm very quick at being like, "Oh, that person, get her out! Like, cut it out of yeah. your life!" Like, I'm really quick on that. Well, it's really oh. helpful, like the validation of you don't need to be nice to everyone. Mm-hmm. That validation is nice. <laughs> I think your TE can like have a fair assessment of the situation almost like quicker. Where JC, your TI might be like, well, I'm not sure all of the variables, and so I'm not going to judge on this. Oh, okay. I can yeah, that, that makes sense too. I'm very like, well, you don't really need all the variables. We just need to get this moment done and over with. Yeah, but also like as a three wing two, like there's a part of me that just wants to do things for other people. 
and of course with the <laughs> understanding that, that actually, yeah I with the that understanding really that, that hopefully subconsciously you know i want them to reciprocate but also if they don't i'm actually kind of fine with that at least i, th- I think i am which is the whole thing about i got a three fix same same as yours right, same right. way it's yeah. underneath it i hate that i have it yeah. though like i know it's underneath i'm like ugh. like people are just doing stuff i'm like oh do you want me to do it for you and then afterwards i'm like why <laughs> why? all right this one next question megan who is most likely to kill someone accidentally <laughs> hmm. Oh, Nate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but would it be an accident when he kills someone? Uh, well, like, oh. Honestly? <laughs> well, you could say that it was. I guess I just can see a seven getting in a situation where they're just having fun. Just dropping Oops. a little laxative. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and Nate yeah. loves laxatives. He's always oh like, I've never used one. You know what's funny? I've laxatives. never had one. I've never taken one. I just know they're hilarious. I'll send you one in the mail. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> like, I'm just, like, some fettuccines are worth the laxative, is all I'm saying. But, yeah. Oh. Okay, so next question. Who is most likely to have two girlfriends at the same time? JC. <laughs> okay, we all knew that one was going to be me. Because <laughs> you actually do? <laughs> oh, no, 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 they're not girlfriends, they're wives. Get it? There we go. Get it she's straight. already been, she's already been okay. married. The funny thing is, Nate, two girlfriends at a time seems like too much work for you. Too many Girl, I don't care yet. enough about that. Nate, yeah, like, Nate, Nate doesn't <laughs> care enough to even have one at a time, like, for real. Like, like, two girls. That's so much. No. I have. <laughs> I had to compartmentalize so, this and them. Oh, I've actually known quite a few. Okay, and by quite a few, I mean three, which is kind of still a pattern of like ENTP women that claim to be polyamorous uh, because they just love everyone, but also they don't want to let anyone in. They like to be in control. <laughs> so I, I don't know if you like. Okay, here's here's my little. Is this actually ties into the to the next question, which is like who's most likely to be poly? But before yeah. you answer uh, that one, I'm really much. Like I feel like Fe is better at compartmentalizing feelings in that way than in the same style as fi does i feel because Mm -hmm. like i don't see like i most of the poly people i have met are fe users if not high stack fe yeah and the thing is it's like they're really good at handling it like they're really good at being like hey let's sit down let's talk about this what do you want what do i want and then move on there really isn't any need for assumptions especially if you're i think it'd be easy to do honestly yeah, I, I don't know. It's not easy. I thought about it. I'm like, no. If it's going to be three of us, we better be paying the rent split ways or someone's dying. <laughs> like, someone's <laughs> toilet is going to be destroyed. Like, I don't know. The only thing that would be hard for me is dealing with the emotions of jealousy and possessiveness that certain people oh. might have, which I don't have. So mm. that would just be like dealing with everyone else's. Is that a virgin goddess thing? Or what? Um, not you? No, well, no, you being against the jealousy is a virgin goddess thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a virgin goddess thing. Because, like, you wouldn't understand why people get jealous, but then a vul- right. vulnerable goddess is more like, oh, but I thought I was the one. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. See, that's, know. like, yeah. the only reason why I wouldn't is because that is just messy. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah, who's most likely to be Polly? JC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For me, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who is most likely to get upset for the most stupid reasons? JC. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. I feel like I've been upset for stupid reasons too, as Polar TI. Well, okay, I guess I don't, it's more like I don't have it depends. reasons. <laughs> it depends. Well, yeah. true. But it also depends because it's like, if someone's upset, then to them, it's probably not a stupid reason. Yeah. But to uh, me, I actually do get upset about things I think are stupid, so okay. I completely agree with yeah. you. Okay. Well, Nate, I feel like with your FI, you have more of an understanding of what matters to you at all times, so where you can kind of pick your battles a little bit. Ooh, a yeah, little that's bit. true. Yeah. Because Nate is just like, why do you care? Why, why does this matter? Yeah. And I'm like, my image. <laughs> <laughs> my image. Yeah. Oh, I have I'm cried like, about that one time, though, I... about reputations. I've been there. Mm. Oh, yeah. And JC, I can see, especially with Polar FI and the three, like, something happening that, like, might hurt your reputation, but, like, something hasn't actually happened, or, like, someone might not like you, and 
you would like worry that they might or like I, I can see you being kind of premature to like something bad hasn't happened yet right but, the like, thing about those about things it. is I don't know if it's a self-fulfilling prophecy or if it's prediction mm. but I'm like almost always right with those mm. things probably both or but I don't know if it's me being like this is gonna happen so it is because I don't necessarily think I'm much of a paranormal yeah. person because I don't have time to think about anything besides yeah. my work <laughs> wait you, you have a point there I feel like that is more TI based because like, I don't mind being wrong or having a wrong insight about something. I'm very dismissive whenever I make, whenever or, I'm wrong. Like, I don't assume I'm right in any position at all. Mm-hmm. Or even you can call it a stupid reason if you were to be like, oh, I have a test tomorrow, but I'm staying up all night. Oh my gosh. Like, things like that. If you're, like, uh, worried about something like mm-hmm. that, it's not really stupid because if you're right. feeling it, it's valid. Um, who's most likely to cry in public? Hmm. That's hard. Right? Okay. I <laughs> we are so heartless. Is that what I'm gonna that? have to say I'm gonna have to say JC, but only because I think that that could happen if like you totally thought you had your cool and you thought that you ha- weren't sad at all. And then it like kind of came on as a surprise, and then you mm-hmm. probably would be like embarrassed that you were in public or something. The only know. times that I have cried, like the, the only times that, well, the times that I usually cry, like, especially if it's, like, where there are people around, it's because I'm frustrated. It's never because I'm sad. Oh, yeah. It's usually, like, uh, I told this to Nate before, but it's, like, someone is, like, arguing with me, and I so want to destroy them with my TI, or I want to hit them, and I don't. I just let them say what they said and just leave it. Then I cry because I'm so frustrated. Mm. And I've done it in public I when that. I was, like, in, like, junior high and early high school. Now I don't much, but I get so frustrated when... I know that I can argue with them, but also knowing that ENTPs tend to be argumentative, et cetera, I'm like, I also know that I shouldn't because I won't change your mind anyway. And I can just get so frustrated because I want to, yeah. but then I don't, and then I cry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, because I compartmentalize you- my feelings in that way. Because yeah. like, I'm very, okay, I'm sad about this moment, but I don't have time to cry right now. I need right. to like finish work. Like there was a time when I was really frustrated and I did start crying like in my little workstation at, <laughs> at the workplace. I was like, oh my so goodness, sad. it's leaking. And I felt embarrassed because I was like, oh no, I'm going to be inefficient really, at my job. Oh, really oh no. Funny. So do you cry in public often, Nate? No. I Really, the moments. real answer is me out of all of this. <laughs> Like, I'm trying to challenge that. Are you sure? Because knowledge. you barely cry yourself, right? I used to cry a lot more, but younger I, wise, I'm not even as afraid. If I cry in public, it's like, well, I can't help it, kind of. Like, I don't really want to, but the only times I do is if I feel like I can't control it. Like, okay, like even in college, there has been times when I was crying and then I just had sunglasses on and I was walking through well, that campus. Works. That's beautiful. Like, no. <laughs> I love that. That's efficiency. You work yeah. that sunglasses. Like, and there's real. been times that I've like had cried like with random like uh, Tinder hookups or something and I would like cry while hooking up with them and they wouldn't know. And I, I like know how they wouldn't, to like, wait, they wouldn't know. You don't no. have mercy. <laughs> like I, I'm pretty good at like crying in public but also like not letting anyone know. <laughs> I got I got nothing on that. That's just skills. Move on to that. That's just skills. I'm right sorry. There. It's like I respect it. <laughs> like, yeah, we really do. Like, I'm like, dang, I'm sorry, I want to learn it. It just like that. needs to go through. It's like, are like, you okay? Totally. I also like get mean? over it really quickly. Like I just that's sometimes true. I'm like, okay, this just needs to release. Yeah. I mean, it gives your eyes like a nice sparkle. See, that's too. where I come yeah. definitely come on different because yeah. while I can compartmentalize my feelings, I don't get over it quickly. Because I did that, because I refrigerated my feelings. So I'm yeah. almost most likely going to hold a grudge or resentment because I didn't express it in the That's moment. That's the thing that I'm afraid of is, yeah. you said refrigerated feelings. That's like my worst fear. I yeah. like don't Usually it's that. better if it's positive, but if it's negative, yeah, I'm holding that till when I get home. So I'm going to cry about it when I get home type of thing. I, d- I don't think that I really hold grudges for that long because again, I'm just like polar FI. Like I'm not good at identifying if I feel a certain way in the first place and I don't think that that means that eventually like it just grows and grows and grows it's just like a I literally just move on and I'm like you know inferior SI I don't yeah. even like hold on to it I just okay I JC do you relate to feeling like if it was really important then you trust that it would come up again kind of thing yeah I do but also I write everything down okay 
So if I don't find it important, I don't write it down. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Like for me, like if I'm sad about something, I'll like try it and see like, is this going to come up again? See if I can deal with it so that I can be prepared for next time. Or like, I just assume it won't come up again. And if it's important, this is why I feel like I FE works well in poly. Like that is to me, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Back to that. Yes. Yeah, it, it makes it like to me, like all those reasons. I'm like, yeah, I can see you guys fitting really well into that framework. Like it really yeah. does. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next. The next question: Who is most likely to marry without love? JC. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd like an explanation. Uh, <laughs> you think Nate will love the person he marries? That's hard. I feel like <laughs> what? Nate, I feel like you wouldn't even bother. Oh. Yeah, I'm not even in the relationship. That's so weird. Oh, you wouldn't even get married. I mean, we did talk about this. You were the one. Like, it was on a romance episode. You're like, it better work out because he better have his own job and I have my own career. And it, no, yeah, I we live were in the same house. I'm, saying, I'm not saying, JC, that you would so not care about love that you would date someone that you wouldn't even like. But I feel like once you had your heart set on someone and opened up to them that you might like fall out of love, but then feel so comfortable with them that you might just convince yourself logically that it's a smart idea to marry them I mean, because you've an, already done the work of yeah I mean as an it. Essex blind I don't see any problem with that at all of like what does it mean to fall out of love anyway it's just like the what the infatuation phase is over it's like that to me doesn't necessarily matter and I don't mm-hmm. I don't know it's so weird to me when people say like you fall out of love because I'm like what mm. exactly is love then <laughs> like mm. Essex blind questions, polar FI. Woo. <laughs> I'm a bubble <laughs> unknown. <laughs> I'm just like, man, I don't even know how to explain that. But. Well, it's funny because okay, <laughs> as the FI user here, my oh, take on it is that the, even as an Essex blind myself with the romance and all that shenanigans, I don't really get falling out of love either because to me, re- whether or not I see you, my love stays consistent regardless. You know, I'd say too that JC, you probably see more of a value of having a partner, like more of a usefulness of like, oh, we can do our taxes together or something like that. I'm so that. excited for that. Or like, <laughs> oh, that <is laughs> if I ever get married, oh my goodness, taxes? Oh, together. But like for you, Nate, you probably wouldn't even see the value. Like if you don't see the value in that person, then you wouldn't. Yeah, I'd rather have value. a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's power through our last couple of questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, who is most likely to be an alcoholic? Nate. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll just move straight over that one. Yeah. Um, who is more likely to be a nun? Nate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did we, as we just discussed, we. You An alcoholic <laughs> nun. I feel like that's a wonderful combination. <laughs> as we yes. just discussed, you probably wouldn't bother with getting married unless. It really matters. Right? I know Celibate you, for life, but double like fisted the entire time. <laughs> you're SX blind. You love God, like so that already is there. <laughs> Three sheets to the wind, like completely gone. You can have a dog. I can have a, <laughs> have a dog. Yeah. Right. Okay, we have one last question. Okay. okay. Who is most likely to be insecure? Uh, JC. Really? Now I'm intrigued. Really? Nate thought that you'd answer him on that one. Yeah, because I, mean, I you know, Okay, that... I could be biased in the sense that I recognize F-E-N-T-I a little bit more, where I feel like even though I know you really well and I know NFPs, they, like, always just seem like they're fine. And, like, I know that you're not, but even the times that you're not, you don't... It doesn't strike me as insecure. Like, the time I had an issue and then I'm, and I, like, message you back with a joke and you're like, I thought you did time alone. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm still, and I mean, what? <laughs> threes just are, aren't they? Like, I mean, yeah, that's the core fear, right? We're running away from our shame. We think that we are nothing without our work. And I'm like, oh, that is. Okay. yeah, I'm like, and the thing is that it's interesting because on one level, I'm like, oh, that's so true. Cause it's like, I overly identify with my achievements, my accomplishments. Therefore I must be insecure about who I am outside of that. But I'm like, but as far as what I'm projecting and my ego that I overly relate to, I'm very not insecure in that yeah. regards at all. So it's I don't just think that you're insecure in general, but I even think that for me, I associate the word insecure with being kind of like more insecure about people and what people think 
about you. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. No, no. But, but I mean, I agree. I think between Nate and, and me, I think it's me. That makes more sense. <laughs> like, I do. <laughs> well, uh, well, we're less than one minute on the dot, right? <laughs> this is really good timing. Um, thank yeah. you so much, um, Megan. Thank you for joining us. This was a lot of fun. Thank you guys I for having me. feel so smart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and I'm an alcoholic nun, is yeah, what I took away from and, this. And uh, thank you for watching <laughs> cool, this video. Yes, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.